Thanks for coming, everybody. I'd like to introduce Turu Suzuki, who's a member of the Tokyo 2, who are the two activists in Japan who exposed the whale meat embezzlement scandal. And in fact, they themselves ended up getting um, prosecuted um, for exposing the scandal. However, what we're also, and I'll hand over in a, in a moment, but what we're also here to do is to put whaling back on the government's agenda and to say to them, you've got an ideal opportunity now with the change of government in Japan to actually take the lead with Japan and see if we can get a change of direction with the Japanese government to end whaling in the Southern Oceans, bring it into that barbaric practice. And this may be a, an extremely rare opportunity to make some gains that we've failed to do with our diplomatic approach previously. Mr Garrett and the, the government has failed with their approach, but they may have an opportunity, a very rare opportunity here, to be successful um, to, 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 for once on the diplomatic front um, with the Japanese government. So we're here to say, please have another go. Please talk to the Japanese government. We ask the PM to go and talk to the new Japanese Prime Minister to try and seek a resolution to this practice. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Uh, I came here to Australia this time to uh, send a message to Australian people about the, uh, there's a very unique uh, window of opportunities arise in Japan, so about waiting. Uh, we have a really big uh, change in, uh, real change in uh, government in uh, 50 years, and uh, we have uh, a whole new government right now. And uh, uh, we think that uh, the there's a unique opportunity, and uh, the, this new government, so before election, they promised that, yes, we're going to stop the government corruption, yes, we're going to stop the waste of spending of taxpayers' money, and actually the waiting is uh, the very much run by a sub government subsidy, and uh, there's no any demand from market, and a uh, whole full of the uh, government corruption. Actually, uh, uh, we Im investigated the uh, uh, embezzlement whale meat issue in the 12 months before. Uh, this is uh, just a small portion of it. So there's a so, uh, golden parachute situation and the government subsidy and uh, there's so many wrongdoing. And uh, so the Japanese market doesn't support that anymore. So uh, I'm here to say uh, Australian people to uh, understand uh, the, what's really going on in Japan with whaling. And uh, it's not uh, everything about Japan, just as a really only small group uh, with uh, government corruption. And uh, now new governments have made a big promise to the public uh, that we're going to stop the government corruption. So I think it's, uh, it's, uh, you should send uh, your Prime Minister Kevin Love to Japan as soon as possible to uh, start a dialogue to encourage new government to make a decision uh, to stop the waiting. So because uh, if it's happened, so the, if the decision by Japanese government is made to stop the waiting, it's going to be a really strong message to the Japanese public saying that yeah, we are different from the old. And now uh, it's going to be a strong message to the international community. So it's going to be a win-win solution for the both government. So I strongly believe that yeah, it's going to solve the uh, old problem between us. So it's, uh, uh, I want to get, uh, it's, uh, understand it, that this situation. So also, uh, uh, so now there's a, a trial with the investment is called the Tokyo 2 trial. Uh, we learned so much about the exposing uh, all the scandal. So the, if you want to learn, learn the more about the uh, wearing issue in, uh, the, in the depths, so please yeah, the Google the uh, Tokyo 2 and Greenpeace. So you learn so much about this case. And uh, so it's not about it's, uh, what we do, it's just uh, not only about what we do. So you learn so much about uh, it's, uh, what's real problem about waiting. So the, to end this waiting, so we really need your help. And uh, so we only got uh, two months for the next uh, run. So we can't afford to, uh, to send a ship again to the Southern Ocean. So now the, yeah, the, uh, we are coming to the final stage in the waiting, so we need your help. Toro, the, as far as we know, the Democratic Party doesn't have a policy to abolish whaling or to, to stop it. What makes you think? 
think okay. will be any different under the new government? Yes, uh, because uh, this election is so typical. Uh, the, the public vote is uh, this Democratic uh, Party, so not, not because they're supporting it. This is a big no to the old government. And uh, the, yes, uh, DPJ so, yeah, the, uh, mentioned about the wedding still supporting, but uh, this is a uh, small portion of their campaign to win uh, any vote field. So, but the bigger promise they made for the public is like, uh, yes, we're going to stop the government corruption and uh, also the uh, waste of spending of the taxpayers' money. The plus, uh, they're working hard to stop the kind of family tree habit of the politician. So there's a the second third generation of the politician in our old government. But, uh, and uh, when you look at the, uh, the corruption of the wedding, so there's a, it's, a, it's kind of a showcase. Showcase of government corruption and uh, wasteful spending. So the, I believe that yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, they can make a, yeah, the big decision to do it. Okay. And do you think Australia should, should abandon the idea of taking legal action internationally against Japan at this stage, given there's a new government there? Yes, because it, uh, it's kind of, there's a really big change in the 50 years. And uh, the Australian government and Japanese government starts from the sort of clean sheet. So like, uh, the, yeah, if you bring the yeah, international court situation right now, it's like a one-way deal. But instead, so we just uh, stand by, so like uh, uh, we focus on that. The, it's a weekend, uh, Australia can do the, everything they can do. The best thing is like sending the Kevin Ladd to, uh, to Japan to start dialogue. And uh, then, so, so I can help a lot, I think.